Bible Hub is a free online Bible software with over 100 resources currently available, including 43 English Bibles, 8 Greek Bibles, 4 Hebrew Bibles, and over 30 commentaries. It does have some secular ad pop-ups, so I recommend installing an ad blocking extension for your web browser. I use Ghostry for Chrome. Just remember that some sites like YouTube may make you sign a user agreement not to use ad blockers. So I make an exception rule for those sites. In Ghostry, you can just click Trust Site and it won't block ads on that site. But each extension is different. If you don't like it, you can always turn any extension off or uninstall it under Manage Extensions. Bible Hub is pretty straightforward. Most of its options are displayed on the main screen. I'll briefly explain them. You can look up a Bible verse by clicking on the top drop-down. You can change Bibles from the drop-down on the right, and it will stay on your current chapter. In the search bar, you can choose the category you want to search for from the drop-down on the right. You can search for a verse reference, or a word, or a phrase, or a Greek or Hebrew word or phrase. If nothing shows up, you can choose a different category by clicking on one of the buttons that will show up after you search for something. All the Bibles listed in the next row do not have Strong's tagging. You can choose a Bible with tagging from the Bible drop-down or the hamburger icon on the top right of the screen. Any tagged Bible will show information about the Greek or Hebrew when you hover your mouse over a word or click on it. This is a good time to mention that if you hover your mouse over any tab, you can see a more detailed description of what's in it. I should also mention that although each tab has something unique about it, half of them have duplicate information, which is repeated in other tabs. You'll hear me say this a lot, but each tab will show information relating to your current verse when you click on it. The Parallel tab shows you the verse you are on in over 40 English translations. You can also compare two Bibles side by side if you click on certain Bibles and then click on the Parallel button on the right. Only the Bibles shown in the Parallel list can be compared to each other. If you click on one of the Bibles from the parallel list, it will compare it to your current Bible. The Sermons tab shows a list of written sermons about your current verse. The Audio tab allows you to play the audio for either the chapter or full book you are currently on. There are multiple text-to-speech voices to Romans choose from. One. If you click on the pop-out audio player, you can read along as the Paul, audio is a read servant of Christ Jesus. The Visuals tab shows any maps or pictures relating to your current verse. The Commentary tab shows all the commentaries relating to your current verse. Each blue heading is a different commentary. You can also go directly to your favorite commentary by choosing it from the list on top. The Interlinear tab shows an interlinear based off of the original language. Unfortunately, you can't choose what information is shown on any of the interlinears. The Hebrew or Greek tabs will change depending on if you're in the New or Old Testament. It is the same thing as the interlinear tab, just in a different format. The lexicon tab shows information relating to the original language of your current verse. But ironically, the best way to look up lexicon information about a verse is to open a Bible with Strong's tagging and click on the word you want to see. This will show both the Strong's and Thayer's lexicons, and the NAS Exhaustive Concordance will show all the ways the original language word you clicked on is translated into English in the New American Standard Bible. The Strong's tab is basically the same thing as the Lexicon tab, just in a different format. The Multilingual tab compares tons of Bibles from multiple languages for the verse you are currently on. The Chapter Summary tab shows a chapter summary and other key information about your current chapter. The Bible Book Outline tab shows a summary about the current book you are on. The Timeline tab will show you when your current chapter was likely written. If you click the Complete Bible Timeline button, 
you can view a list of dates for the main events in the books of the Bible. The Bible Study Questions tab has a list of questions for the current chapter you are on. There are questions for every chapter in the Bible, so this could be a nice way to do a Bible study with some friends. The Topics and Themes tab is basically the same thing as the Summary tab, showing information about your current chapter. The Book by Book tab is basically the same thing as the Outline tab, showing information about your current book. The Parallel Chapters tab compares five different versions of the Bible to each other. Unfortunately, you can't change which versions they are. The Parallel English tab shows two tagged resources, an English Bible and a Greek or Hebrew Bible. So you can hover your mouse over any words or click on them to see more information about them. The Treasury of Scripture Knowledge tab shows all the Bible verses that your current verse references or relates to. The Library tab has a list of random books you can read for free. The Apostolic Bible Polyglot tab is the same thing as the Greek, Hebrew, or interlinear tabs, just in a different format. The LXX, or Septuagint, or Hebrew tab, depending on if you're in the New or Old Testament, will show either the Greek Old Testament or the Hebrew New Testament. One other thing worth noting is that you can read the English translation of the Peshitta, which is based off of the Syriac manuscripts dating from around the 5th century AD.